What's up everybody, you're watching Joe Box TV, and I want to talk about a fight that has to happen, and a fight I've been waiting for for about two years now, and that's Leo Santa Cruz versus Gary Russell Jr. for the featherweight championship. To me, this has, this has to be one of the best style matchups in boxing. I mean, you've got Leo Santa Cruz's relentless vo high volume punching combinations and aggression against Gary Russell Jr. who in my opinion possesses the fastest hands in boxing. Yep, faster than Amir Khan, faster than up and comers like Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney, all in all. I I just think Gary Russell it not only is the fastest fighter in boxing, but he also has a very tricky, crafty to, style to go with that hand speed and plenty of power, just as he showed against Joseph Diaz Jr. I mean, the combination of those two styles, Santa Cruz and Russell, I just think it has all the ingredients for just a really fun fight to watch between two world-class competitors. Now, I might be a little bit biased, I used to live about an hour away from the DMV area, and Gary Russell is from DC, so I'm a big fan of Gary Russell. What would be even better is if this is on the same card as Errol Spence Jr. against Mikey Garcia. Talk about just a phenomenal night for boxing. And it's not completely out of the question that we'll see those two fights on the same card as there have been rumors about that for about a week now. As for who would I, who do I think would win, I might be a little bit biased, but again, I think Russell's hand speed would just be a little bit too much for Santa Cruz to deal with. Now, I talk about Santa Cruz like, the, like this aggressive brawler, but really he has very underrated boxing skills. He did get outboxed in that first fight with Carl Frampton, but I wasn't very impressed in the rematch when Santa Cruz made those adjustments, boxed well, and used that long jab. And he can also counterpunch very effectively. So, on the other hand, with Gary Russell, I feel like sometimes he throws punches, these quick flurries just to stay busy, and they aren't really purposeful punches. And that can get you in trouble against a taller fighter like Santa Cruz, who, like I said, can box and counterpunch when he needs to. Here's what it comes down to. Santa Cruz has shown that he will get drawn into a brawl, and when that happens in a fight between two evenly matched fighters, it usually comes down to who can win the exchanges. And usually, it's the faster fighter who wins those exchanges. Russell obviously has the faster hands. And right now, my gut feeling tells me if this fight can get made, which I really hope it does, if it gets made, I think Gary Russell squeaks out a close decision here. So anyway, I'll give a more detailed prediction if this fight ends up getting made. Now, one last point. Um, both fighters seem to want this fight. Leo Santa Cruz stated after his win against Abner Mares, he wants Gary Russell Jr. And Gary Russell Jr. also stated in interviews that he wants to fight Leo Santa Cruz as well. So, it's up to Al Heyman. Please, Al Heyman, make this fight happen. Right now, there are just so many great fights to make. But I feel like this is kind of an under-the-radar fight that's being slept on and needs to happen. And if it does, I can't wait. Until next time, Joe Box TV out.